Here we will see how the computation actually occurs in the test tube. The input of the computation is a DNA molecule which encodes the symbols 1, 0, and 1. And the computation will detect whether this list of symbols has an even number of ones. The exposed strand of the DNA molecule encodes the state S0 and the symbol 1. Here comes the software molecule which tries to match the first state and symbol and it fails. And another software molecule uh, which does match the initial state S0 and the first symbol 1 comes and matches. And uh, once they match, an enzyme called ligase can come and seal them together into one molecule. The software molecule contains a special site marked in red, which is uh, allowed by an enzyme called FOC1, uh, which also attaches to DNA and scans it until it recognizes this uh, red site. Once it finds it, it cuts DNA in a special location, which actually exposes the next state and symbol. The state is S1 and the symbol is 0, and the computation is ready for the next cycle. Here comes a software molecule that de detects this uh, state and symbol and is sealed to the remaining input molecule with ligase. The incoming software molecule also includes a recognition site for FOC1, which comes, detects it, and cuts inside the next in input symbol, exposing the next state, which is S1. Software molecule comes and detects S1 and 1, is ligated to the remaining input symbol, and we're almost ready to complete the computation. FOC1 comes and cuts into the terminator symbol of the computation, exposing an overhang which indicates the final result of the computation. Two molecules try to detect that result, one with a red attachment and the other with a green attachment, which uh, actually attaches and detects that indeed the input had an even number of ones.